If you're going to be flying this week, expect a crowd at the airport. Yeah, the TSA says it expects to handle as many as 2.5 million people at airport checkpoints today and tomorrow, maybe even more on Sunday. So here to try to help make things easier for you is Lisa Farbstein. She is joining us with some tips that we desperately need right now. Good morning. Uh, good, good morning and happy Thanksgiving. Ah, happy Thanksgiving to you too. Are we back to pre-pandemic levels of travel? We are very close to back to mm. pre-pandemic levels. Good. The busiest travel day in TSA history was the Sunday after Thanksgiving in 2019, right before the pandemic started. And uh, so that was about 2.9 million people screened nationwide. We don't expect to hit it that high, but it's still gonna be pretty darn high. Okay. And so today, tomorrow, and then Sunday, we expect to screen over 2.5 million people across the country. Okay, wow. that's a lot of people. So what's the biggest mistake, Lisa, that air travelers make that winds up actually delaying them, right? Because you see the long line sometimes. There's always one person holding it up. <laughs> yeah, them and everybody else, right? I'd say the number one tip I can share is get to the airport early because it's going to be a little more congested on the roadways. It's going to be pretty busy and crowded in the terminals themselves. It's going to take you longer to park. It's going to take you longer to check a bag. And that's even before you get to the checkpoint itself. And the uh, important thing to do is just like you said right there on the screen, know what's in your carry on bag, know before you go. And we have several ways to find out whether something should go in your check bag, your carry-on bag, either or neither. Uh, first is we have a website. Mm -hmm. Our website is tsa.gov, and our homepage has a great feature, Can I Bring? Type it in, type in cherry pie, type in pie, cake, uh, brownies, oh. uh, cookies, baked goods, and you'll find out, yes, you can bring them through the checkpoint, right. especially this time of year when we know that's what you want to carry. Uh, we also have a very active social media team. We're on Twitter at, at AskTSA. Have a question? Just ask us. Either take awesome. a picture of the item uh, or uh, just ask us uh, mm -hmm. on, on Twitter. And then, as you see, uh, we've got a help helpline. Uh, if uh, It's called TSA Cares. And if you have perhaps a medical condition uh, or a disability and you don't know what to expect, yep. you can call that number and uh, find out and get all your questions answered before you even get to the, the airport. Yeah, some of those ladies out there who bring in home their boyfriend for the first time are probably hoping they could ask TSA, should I bring this guy on the plane with me or not? <laughs> uh, but in all sincerity, you said arrive at the airport early. How early is early? Mm. Like two hours early, an hour and a half? So we, we really encourage people to show up in the terminal two hours before your scheduled domestic flight, three hours before an international flight. Wow. Yeah. So Lisa, let me ask you a question. I know you, you talked about what you can and cannot bring. I don't know if you can answer this or not, but I feel like every time I go to the airport now, it used to be that if you had TSA pre-check, you kind of flew through. Now it's like everyone has TSA pre-check. It's, it's, so it's, it's like the line uh, yeah. is, is sometimes longer than the regular line. Well, you know, if you really want to go in that standard line and take off your shoes and take off your belt and oh, take all those, those items that you need to uh, out. Yeah, so you can do that in your standard line. The TSA line may look long, but I can assure you it moves pretty darn quickly. Okay. Yeah, and people should know how to get uh, their common questions answered so that they don't waste their precious time at the airport, right? So you had that great information, ask TSA. On, so make sure you do that first, right? Okay. Right, and you know, this time of year, we see lots of people traveling with food items because they want to contribute to the Thanksgiving table. And so you, know, you can carry on a lot of food items. You can carry on solid foods. Like I said, baked goods, uh, pies, cakes, uh, even a Bubby's pie, a Bubby's cherry pie. A Bubby's pie. pie we, we can bring the pie. Earlier. You can carry that on. Uh, and casseroles, whether that is mac and cheese, green bean casserole, uh, even stuffing, you can bring all that on. And yes, is, are people flying with this? Are you people really? Is it gonna? Is it gonna hold? I mean, make it when you get there. <laughs> oh yeah, bring they, the whole they, turkey on the snack. plane. <laughs> they, they do. We do see people who bring full turkeys, yes, and ham. Oh and if you That's want to snack on the plane, you've got your baked goods right. with you, you've got your bread. <laughs> but there are certain things you need to put in your check bag, and that is anything that is sort of, um, if, it's, if you can spill it, spread it, spray it, pump it, or pour it. So if it's a liquid, if it's a gel, if it's a spreadable, you want to put that in your check bag. So cranberry sauce, mm. gravy, and maybe you want to even contribute a bottle of wine to the mm. Thanksgiving mm. table. And that's something you want to definitely pack into mm. uh, your check bag. You know, everyone's traveling with their family. What if you have a family member that happens to be a dog? Any reminders, tips for people traveling with their pets? 
So yeah, we do have uh, tips. First of all, when you get to the checkpoint, uh, make sure you take them out of the, 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 the pet carrier. Don't put your cat through the x-ray machine or your dog oh, through the x-ray machine. Have people really done that? If you do have a cat, oh yes. Uh, I, really? I hate to say yes. But, oh my gosh. But it, it's very sad. So, uh, But we, we encourage people who say who have cats to uh, explain there's a cat in there and maybe you take the cat to the private screening room because we know cats don't like to be on leashes yeah. and they're easily startled. So when you're holding your cat to go through the, the uh, walk-through metal detector, mm. the cat may get spooked. So you yeah. definitely want to say you have a cat and you want that cat screened in a private screening room. And dogs are usually uh, much calmer than the cats. Yeah. And you do want to have them on a leash and, uh, and, and any other pets as well. But okay. do check with your airline first about which pets you can bring on the plane. Gotcha. Okay, Lisa, real quick, because we're almost out of time here. By the way, if you're bringing, there's, there's a supermarket when you arrive, okay? This Just way. buy it when it's you get there. It okay, go. anyway, so <laughs> anyway, but you say arrive early, but there's always those folks who are at that line being, can I please cut you? Can I get in front of you? Can I get in front of you? My flight's leaving in 10 minutes. So if you are up against traffic or you couldn't find parking and you feel like you're going to miss your flight and there's that very long line, is there anything you can do? Then you should, uh, if you think you're going to miss your flight because you're running a little late, go to your airline check-in counter and ask them if you can get switched to a later flight. Oh, you can't just cut the line. Uh, TSA <laughs> does not own that line. We own, <laughs> we, we, uh, we, we own right up to the travel document checking station. So uh, that would be up to your your, your friendly uh, coach travel. Okay. Gotcha. All right, Lisa Farbstein, thanks so much for all your tips this morning. We, really we love you. Come back. It. Yeah, please come back during the Christmas season <laughs> when we're talking about heading home for the holidays. Oh, all right. All right. Thank yeah. you. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>